Hey, gents, good morning. Um, coming to the end of the Curry Cup season, it's been a long season between URC and Curry Cup. Uh, tough one, but um, you're not the only ones disappointed. There's a number of people in the Mother City kind of bummed out about events the past week. Um, last couple of games go here. Stedman, uh, how do you feel about the last couple of games? Uh, Bulls going to finish with a positive record. You look to be a lot stronger in the past month. Yes, um, hopefully we can finish the Curry Cup a bit stronger than the URC. And um, we've put ourselves in a position now where we can still control our own destiny. And that's what we look to do now, last couple of games of the Curry Cup. And just a side question, I've just come back from London where I covered the HSBC Sevens final tournament there. And of course, Argentina pulled that out. Uh, listen, uh, you know, the I'm wearing a Blitzbach jersey. Blitzbach are looking a little um, disorganized. Um, do you fancy a return to help us out there? Just a side question. Uh, are we ever going to see you back in the sevens? It'd be exciting. <laughs> at the moment, at this stage, at this stage, there's no plan for me to return back to the sevens. But, um, yeah. All right, just asking. And a final question, this one for Johan. Uh, you've had quite an interesting season here. You've had some really big games, and the press hasn't talked a lot about you, but really impressive job you've done out there. How do you feel about this season? Do you feel personally that you've, you've made some strides this year as a professional rugby player? And, and how are you feeling about next year for the Bulls? Uh, is it looking good? How do you feel? Well, thanks. Um, obviously, you try to grow every season. Um, I think in the team environment, we all we try to – you feel successful when the team wins and if the team doesn't win you don't feel as if you've accomplished your task if i can put it like that so yeah um ended about i think six in the urc still still alive in the in the curry cup for this year so um yeah we're building I've been saying it for a long time with a lot of young players um like steady and myself um so yeah we're building every season should be better and better so our yeah, future is looking good i believe Gents, you know, I asked you earlier about um, next season. Look forward to that. But uh, the issue's been raised about what's ahead of you. You've got two games left. And as Munster has proven, it's not how you perform during the season. It's how you finish. My goodness. Look what they did in the URC. Broke some hearts in the Mother City. Six and six. Three teams ahead of you are struggling in Curry Cup right now. So going through these last two games, uh, as was mentioned earlier, you're not looking past the Griffins. And as Johan said, you owe them one for what happened earlier in the season. But Stedman, um, going into this, uh, do you feel confident? Can the Bulls win the Curry Cup? I mean, look what last year with the, uh, the Pumas, they were under 500 and they came out and shocked everybody and won it. How do you feel about this? Uh, you've got two games left, Griffins and Cheetahs. What are your thoughts going into it? Can you win the Curry Cup? 100%. I believe we can win the Curry Cup. Like you said earlier, if we, if we give ourselves the opportunity to get to the semi-final, then it does, like Munster proved, it doesn't matter what happened during the season. And um, that's our focus now, to make sure to get the semi-final spot wherever we have to play that semi-final, we back ourselves to be able to get the job done. Excellent. Johan, last year, the Pumas went to Bloemfontein and absolutely broke the hearts of the faithful there. Uh, the Cheetahs, that was quite a game. Uh, I don't know if the Cheetahs were looking past the Pumas, but they got defeated. You've got the Cheetahs in the last round this year in order, and that's going to be a necessary win for you, hopefully a bonus point if you want to move on to that semifinal. That game, uh, the Cheetahs, that that must be probably the most important game that's on the calendar right now, and that's probably your – I mean, obviously you're focused on the Griffins, but clearly you're going to have to do something to defeat the Cheetahs at home. Yeah, definitely that's going to be one of the, the, the more difficult ones. Um, but yeah, with – Last three months, as I said, we're, we're away from home and we had some good wins over there. Um, I think we take it week for week. Obviously, you have to look at the bigger picture, but for now, we're focusing on the Griffins. And if we get this job then, done, then we'll focus on the Cheetahs again next week. And um, yeah, as I said, luckily it's home. Um, yeah, on Loftus Fatsfeld um, will give us a lot of confidence. And um, yeah, if you look back and, and uh, we look at the 19 points that we would have gotten over the four weeks, um, it will be the last hurdle before the semifinals, and then you know, I'm confident we'll take it as well. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much. Best of luck in your final two games, and um, looking forward, uh, you know, not too far, but down the road for hopefully a much more successful uh, next season. Uh, bye, bye, donkey. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Chris.